Hello everybody, it is BYG Agami back with another video and today I'm joined with Dimzy's Domain. Hello, how are you lot? And make sure to check out the Facebook page. We are at 1000 members. Come on, it's a very very nice community for you Yu-Gi-Oh fans, so check it out. Check it out. And it's been a while man, you haven't been on the channel for a long time. It's been a while indeed, but this video should be really really interesting for all of them. I'm sure they all know through the title, but can't wait yeah <laughs> but with the episode 9 and 10 summary we finally get the hero versus the rival and villain for this instance starting up and Dimzy and I are starting this new series where it's called three reasons why we're basically taking Yusaku along with the revolvers gimmick and just putting it into a video series now on Dimzy's channel there's gonna be two other videos uploaded three reasons why Revolver has to win and three reasons why it might turn into a draw But on my channel, we're gonna be doing three reasons why Yusaku must win this duel And I'm gonna start off with the first reason and the first reason why is because Yusaku needs to save Ioi or Blue Angel and this reason is very important and I think it's a good candidate to start the list off But as we're gonna go forward into the list the reasons are gonna get much more stronger but I think the reason why he needs to save Ioi is strong enough to validate the fact that he needs to win is because Ioi is very important in the world of Link Varanes. She is the poster girl according to what was stated in episode 1. And if the poster girl is taken away, then basically the balance I would say in Link Varanes is sort of gone because she is a charisma duelist long ago on Azuka. And just to add on to that, also... I think with her losing and if she is still in that st state that she's currently in, in that sort of mind control state, I think that Akira Zaizen will go very, very, very dark Merrick-esque into those realms where he just doesn't know what to do. He's going to be so lost up into his emotions and I think there probably will be a distrust between him and Bishop along with the other owners of the Knights of Hanoi who Thanks. we haven't seen yet. I think that um, another reason for uh, the need to save Aoi eyes and Blue Angel is the fact that, yes, in terms of the plot, in terms of the series, she's absolutely crucial. However, she might also form, she might also become an extremely reliable ally in the eventual fight to uh, combat the Knights of Hanoi or whatever greater evil which Yusaku may face. I believe that Yusaku, although he's somewhat of a lone wolf at this moment, and he probably is for the foreseeable future, if he is going to get allies, he definitely has identified Aoi Zaizen as a very, very suitable candidate and a suitable ally. And for that reason, he needs to, he needs to beat Revolver for the reason of saving Aoi Zaizen. And not only that, just to add more into that, she saved I, uh, Yusaku, and of course Yusaku saved her, but it's still, what I think is going to occur is they're going to have this whole, like, similar to the three things, how Revolver and Yusaku are doing, they might they might do with Io and Yusaku where they save each other, because if you look at it, it's going on a sort of a cycle. If he does win this duel, then he does save her, essentially, and maybe down the line, Yusaku will will be in a scenario where he needs to be saved by Ioi, but you want to go on with number two. Definitely, number two. The second reason of the three is that in episode two, when he was, when Yusaku was dueling against the Knights of Hanoi, he thought about the person who saved him. Maybe that's the driving force that will give Yusaku the victory at the end of maybe episode 10 or 11 against Revolver. He needs to have that driving force. One thing that is pushing Yusaku and really, really making him want to believe is he always remembers that one person that truly gave him hope and saved him and unlike revolver what we assume that he may have some sort of malice whereas yusaku is he's um he's driven forward by the sense of justice which was instilled by that person who saved his life and yeah to add more on to that in episode two when he was dueling against the knight of hanoi he was about to lose until he had those three reasons why in addition we can also add on kusanagi's brother to get him out of the darkness so yes yusaku's reasons are, are way more just and we all know for every protagonist for every anime if you look at let's say you look at fairy tale and friendship power i know that's a horrible example because i hate fairy tale and i know a lot of you hate it as well but the whole need for friendship power-ups and this is actually a very justified reason if you are going to have some sort of 
stupid silly power up to justify a increase in ability it's the whole driving force and it will make sense at this current stage so i think that is a very very plausible and justifiable reason what is the third and final reason for why yusaku must beat revolver the third reason is because it's too early for revolver to be going 100 percent and what we mean by that is if revolver goes into the duel going 100 percent then I think it takes away from his character and that whole mysterious factor to him. What I think Revolver is going to do in this duel is sort of not go 100% and just see what Yusaku has to offer. Very similar to what uh, Astro Phoenix did when he first dueled Judai. If I recall, Judai actually beat Astro Phoenix. And then, of course, later on, Judai figures out that Astro Phoenix was actually using a random deck, not his. And he was just sort of testing out the potential that Judai has to offer when they do duel and then of course he loses to Astro Phoenix in this in their second duel so possibly and I know this is like a far possibility but maybe Revolver loses on purpose or isn't a scenario where he loses on purpose simply because he's just testing out Yusaku and then as the plot forwards then there might be an opportunity when when they duel again which is most likely going to happen and then Revolver goes 100%. I think that's a very, very interesting point because Revolver did say, oh, he has Cyvus monsters and therefore he could just, as you said, lose on purpose just to have a, get a barometer of the type of deck Yusaku is using. Let's look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 where we saw Yuya versus um, Akaba Reji where you know that only until the end, Yuya always fell short against Akaba Reji and even if he did, like, let's say, get the upper hand, you know that Akaba Reji is not really going full frontal. It's very similar to also Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexu. Yuma really, he, he really didn't get the best of Kite until at, at the end when Yuma's actual abilities were more furthered or actually there was still a lot of development left on the rival's side. We don't know if he's a villain. We don't know if he's the end game villain. But what we know is at this current moment, he's definitely pitted as a definite rival to Yusaku to the playmaker because he is the figurehead the main guy for the Knights of Hanoi but I believe that is these are really good free reasons why yeah and in a way they also have a lot of similarities together and just to add on to that very similar to Duel Monsters where when we first saw Pegasus duel Yugi through the TV he was just sort of getting a test of how Yugi will duel and then we can also bring this up to Battle City when actually before the Battle City tournament Merrick takes over uh, Keith's mind and uses him to duel against Yugi just to see his potential. But of course, the Tim really wasn't in that duel because it was more of Yugi. But I guess that's it. If you guys want to check out the three reasons why Revolver must defeat Yusaku in a duel, you guys can check that out down below in the description. Check out Dimsy as well. And thank you guys for watching and have a great day.